Are you tired of randoms? Hey, anyone got a mic? Shut up! Then you need to check out squads.tm. Squads.tm is a site you can use to find teammates to play with in Rainbow Six Siege. Just create a lobby and link up. You can find players for PC and console. Logging in is easy with your Discord account. From there, others can join your party. I'll leave a link in the description. Hola amigos, welcome to another Operator How To. Today we're going to take a look at your boyo Goyo with the fiery deployo that goes kablamo. Goyo is a two armored defender with an ACOG. Yep. Sludge. It's Cade's designated marksman shotgun, but we'll get to that in just a second. Goyo's gadget, bombs. Bombs? Oh my god, JC, a bomb! Consist of the new deployable shield we got in Operation Embra Rise, with a gas can attached to the back of it. The gas can is filled with enough red hot chili peppers to level a whole city block. And by a whole city block, I mean about the size of a Capital Bolt. It disperses a good deal of flames for a period of 10 seconds, two seconds less than how it was on the test server, which I think is probably a good idea to keep him from taking over Smoke's role too effectively, because he would have had six more seconds of area denial on him potentially there. And that's just a little under a bomb's plant time now at seven seconds. That change from five to seven seconds is gonna be really helpful for the big ombre on campus, since his main role is that of an area denier. Goyo sets off these charges in a rather crude, but effective manner. By, uh, shooting it with your gun. One errant twitch, I just blew it! Alright, so you're probably seeing this, and you're probably thinking, if you've never seen Goyo's gadget before, wow! There are literally so many things that could go wrong here. And you're right, because the enemy can shoot him. Your teammates can shoot him. Anyone can shoot him, blow him up, whatever. It's a double-edged bomb. And he gets three of them. We'll get to all the good and bad things that can happen with these bombs after talking about weapons. And Goyo admittedly has some interesting options at his disposal. So Yubi listened to your concerns and has decided to go with some more popular weapons to recycle this time around. Goyo gets access to either Mira's Vector or Kate's TCSG. Now, you're all probably familiar already with Mira's Vector. It goes... You don't get an ACOG, but it's a headshot machine and it's suited to fighting in close quarters, which I think suits Goyo playing like an anchor, keeping his gas cans close to the interior of the objective room, but there's some downsides to that, we'll talk about that later. The only thing is, you don't get an ACOG. And who doesn't want an ACOG? Enter the totally cool shotgun, I guess, gun, 12. This thing gives Goyo something that the Vector does not, and that is destructibility. Making rotate holes, feet holes, whatever kind of holes your heart desires. Did I mention it has an ACOG? You're a two-speed with an ACOG. I just thought I'd mention that, that you get a, you get an ACOG. It's pretty, you know, not, not, a lot of, not a lot of ACOGs to spare. It's ACOG. You get an ACOG. I talked about the TCSG in the Cade video, and the AUG right now, Cade's AUG, isn't so bad anymore. It has 36 damage, so it's a lot better than it used to be, and it's actually a viable primary. So a lot of people have been using that, but the TCSG is still very good. It's got more damage than Glaz's gun. Hold on, let me, let me make sure you got that part. It has more damage than Glaz's gun. Mira's Vector Victor has 21 damage, and the rate of fire of a Warthog minigun. Pick your poison. As for handguns, Goyo gets one, the Japanese P229. I like the sight picture on this thing a lot. It's one of my favorite pistols. Goyo gets a choice between impacts and a nitro cell. I think a nitro cell suits his kit maybe just a little bit more of an impacts because you can get creative with the nitro to set off your bombs where... Fuck. You can still use the impacts to detonate the gas canisters from just a little bit more cover than you normally would and that's cool too. The thing is, these shields look from the front, just like the other deployables. So there's always that suspicion that it could be a Goyo shield now. It's kind of like Alibi. Do you take the risk of shooting the Alibi to ensure that she's not camping in it? Or did you get intel ahead of time and you know for a fact that she's not there? Well, you'll never know. Except there's no downside to blowing these things up if you're an attacker, really. It can waste utility, yeah. But your plan can get foiled with an Ash Charge. Unless you band it or cage shock it, because the Ash Charge runs on a timed fuse. So the projectile that Ash fires will actually get blown up. It's not gonna detonate anything when it hits a shocked shield. You know what else you can do? You can put a Capkin trap behind it. And the guy vaulting over it is, well, well, they're, they're just fucking dead. 
Like, first of all, the Capkin Trap will blow up, so that does damage. But the Capkin Trap blows up the gas can. So, all I'm saying is, is that if you, if you, if you vault over a Goyo Shield with a Capkin Trap on it, the headline is gonna read, Idiot Explodes. <laughs> Don't forget, after this thing goes off, it, it sets a bunch of fire all over the place for 10 seconds, and it destroys any soft material near it. Now, the damage propagation is a little bit weird, because I've set these things off right next to people and seen them keep running, but they're usually just one shot away from down, so I guess, I don't know, it's not that big of a deal. Another thing you can do with the traps is set up chain reactions. If one trap gets blown up in the vicinity of another one, then you just get this whole big pool of flame explosions all over the place. There's, there's a cricket in my room, and I, I, I don't know where it is, and I have to get this recording in right now. Sorry, I don't, I don't know where it is. Overall, Goyo is a pretty good flex operator, and I think he plays synergies off of other operators very well. Goyo is an operator that requires a little bit of map IQ, in my opinion, and perhaps a little bit of practice. But he's probably a good operator to pick up from my smoke mains watching. A solid selection of weapons and clever thinking will make him a good addition to your team. Some like it hot. Can you shut the fuck up? And that's all you need to know about your boy Ogoyo. Coming up next is Amaru. Oh yeah. Don't use the extended barrel. I'll see you all then. Deuces. One more ashes there too. She's right side, right side. Nice. <laughs>